back to Miss T's Doll Room and today's video is the beginning of a series that I'm doing on the Target Dollar Spot items that Target has featured lately. I found a lot of great things that can be used in our Dollyverse. So the first video is about the arched windows that were in the Dollar Spot a couple of months ago. Through my friend Theo and Carol, I managed to find several of those windows to use in my doll dioramas. So this video is going to show you how I made a bag drop using those windows and cutouts from magazines for the scenery. guys so here's some items I'm going to use from the Target dollar spot in order to make this little uh, diorama scene that I've been thinking about so there's a couple of windows here they were they were three dollars a piece and they're in this uh, natural wood color and it has a little picture hanging hook on the back and I'm gonna use a screwdriver and remove that and then we have the natural wood display shelving for five dollars so the I think the picture frames are three and these uh, shelving units were like five dollars and the shelves are removable and they too have the little hanging hooks on the back that you can remove I don't see any point in doing that for this but for the windows I think I will remove the little hanging hooks on the back and then I have some pictures that I pulled out of some old Southern Living magazine and some paperboard so I'm gonna fix the windows okay guys so as I explained before, I'm trying to put together this little diorama using these Target dollar spot items. So I have the window here and I've already marked out on my foam core board where I want the window. So what I'm doing now is I'm getting ready to take the screws out of the back here to take the little picture hanger off of there. And then I'm going to remove the plastic and we're going to play around with... Um, if whether or not I'll be able to like make my picture inserts, whether it'd be better to attach them directly to the frame, you know, and then put the glass part, put it over the glass, or how I'm going to do this, basically, that's what I'm trying to figure out. So that's what we're going to do now is remove these little hooks. And the little screws here. And I bought this little uh, screwdriver set at Dollar Tree for a dollar. A lot of little miniature tools for our size projects. So I invested a whole dollar in that. And we came right off. And let's see. These, I want to see like I'm gonna have to unscrew all of these too so actually I don't think I'm going to do that I don't think I need to do that let's put that one back in I think I've already decided what I'm going to do I am not going to remove the glass panes out of it back in as I told y'all I am not a professional crafter or an experienced crafter and sometimes inspiration just hits about what I'm going to do and how I am going to do it so now that I have a little picture hook uh, picture holder off of there it should lay a little flatter when I decide to attach it to my phone core board so let me work on the next one now this may be kind of hard to tell but what I did was I basically went in a quarter inch from the edge of the outline that's where I'm going to cut because I want it to be enough surface to handle this wide border 
on the frame so I didn't want to make it to fit the exact size so I just went in just a little bit so when I attach that window there it'll have something solid to hang on to so I'm gonna do that for both of the windows and all I did was I measured in like a quarter of an inch inside of the line that I drew here and then I used the top of the window to connect the dots to make the arch and then use the side of the windows to trace on the inside of the larger outline all right, so we're getting ready to cut our windows out. And I don't have a fancy cutting mat, but what I do is use leftover cardboard boxes. So I have plenty of those left over for the move. So I use that to protect my tabletop because the cuts that I'm making are not so deep that it's going to go through two layers of this box underneath. So we're going to cut these windows out. Here, I'm just going to take my time and kind of inch around this little curve here.
I just try to take my time and fight my impatience to get things like this done because I'm just not really comfortable with, you know, my crafting skills. And that's just being honest. Hopefully, the more I do it, the better I will get at it. And I will be able to do things to my satisfaction. So... second one cut out and I'll be right back okay so now we have both of the windows cut out thank you Jesus and let me just take a moment to consider what I'm going to do next so my windows I left just enough border for my windows to be adhered solidly to the foam core. Alright. And there we go. Okay, so after uh, some consideration, I decided that I am not going to cover this wall with anything. Um... It's a background wall, and I'll have some furniture. I left the space open because I'm going to use that shelving unit between the two windows. So much of the wall, for picture purposes, will be covered up. So just to make things easy, I am not going to cover this wall. So next, I'm going to show you how I prepared my scenes for behind the glass of the windows using uh, magazine pictures. So these are the pictures that I pulled from my Southern Living magazine. I don't know what it is about Southern Living, but I just love to use their pictures. I love the magazines, period, but um, I just love the scenes of nature and backyard. So I decided to use these as the view for my scene here. And I'm going to be careful to... I'm not going to crop it out, but... Here's the idea. Since I have all these pictures, some of them I will use, some of, some of them I can't use, obviously. But, you know, it's lots of grass in these other pictures and things and lots of greenery. So, for where I need to fill in, like at the bottom of the frame of the picture, and it'll be short because, you know, it's less than an 8 inch or 8.5 inch page. So, right here at the bottom, and I'll show you that. Right here at the bottom, I'm going to be lacking like a half inch of space right here at the bottom of the picture. So I figured I'd just use some of the bushes and greenery from the other pictures that I'm not using and just put a strip of it at the bottom to cover over that. Because when you're looking out the window, the view of the picture will be most of the time straight ahead and not down. So hopefully you won't notice it that much. So that's what we're going to do now. So let me get these traced out and figure out how I'm going to put these on here, like so. And I will just use a glue stick and attach it to a piece of paperboard here. And then I'll show you how I lay the strip on there. So let me get this traced out. Okay, guys, so I'm back. I managed to find, you know, other greenery and other pictures to fill out the bottom of my window scene here. So this is how they ended up. I just pasted the little pieces at the little quarter inch that was blank at the bottom. And I traced the window around it so I can get, um, get these cut out. So we're going to get them cut out. And this is how they are going to look behind the frame and I think it's a really pretty scene so I'm quite pleased with myself anything that I manage to do to my satisfaction because uh, I have some pretty high standards when it comes to 
working on my doll stuff. I want it to look as real as it can be. And so I've been trying to do this for years. And I finally thought it out in my head and tried to figure out something that I could be pleased with. So hope this inspires you. We'll get these cut out and get on with the next step. And then what I did was I just put my picture on here the way that I wanted it to line up here. And I just traced it around here so I know where to cut. And that's how I did that. And this paperboard is quite rigid, and um, I got it because when I was working, we would have these certain forms we had to put in our printers, and it always came with this rigid piece of paperboard. And I said, you know what, I'm going to save these things and use them for something in my doll room one day. And so, today is that day. And I'm using them. I attempted to make little cardstock books one time, and they were perfect for that, but I just wasn't happy. You know, I want my stuff to look real. So I gotta get over that some kind of way, but it is what it is. We like what we like. And when it comes to my dioramas, I want my furniture and everything to look as real. As, I, as it can, so those are just my standards. It doesn't work for everybody, but I'm kind of type A that way when it comes to these little things. Alright, so happy with the crafting for my pictures to go behind my arched window frames from Target. It cost me $3 a piece. And so we're going to get this. What I think I'm going to do is glue the actual frame on to the background first and then I'm going to glue this to the back of the foam core board. So let me get that set up. Okay, so we have our windows clean now and let's reapply this hot glue and let me see what happened to my glue stick. There we go. So I'll just take off these little dots that I put on there previously because they hardened when I had to stop and clean the windows of the dollhouse, but they peel right off the little paperboard and everything. There's just a little gap at the top, but I'll just add a little piece and over there. So there, there is a little gap at the very top, but 
I will just put a little bit more cardstock with some trees across that, fill in that gap. Okay, so this concludes my making my wall back drop.